The average guy avoids dating because he thinks he's gonna come across as needy. He even avoids speaking to the girl in case he comes across as needy. Like that would be the worst thing to happen to you in the world. Everything will end if this girl that you've never met before thinks you're needy. Or what's the point in getting into a relationship because she's just gonna think that I'm needy and dump me. And what they really want is they want to speak to that girl. They want to get into another relationship. They are physically stopping themselves from having any joy of the fear of being needy. He pictures this guy that he could be that would never be needy, that would never need anyone, but has everyone. But they haven't watched videos like this. They don't know that it's possible to stop being needy. They just think that's who they are and that's what they have to deal with. But no, you know better. You know that we can change this. We can become non-needy. I've definitely been needy before. I remember when I was younger in a relationship and my girlfriend was at university in a different city and she was out on a night out. I wasn't there. And my neediness set in and I spammed a whole load of text to her being like, where are you? What are you doing? Why haven't you contacted me? So needy and so controlling. The first thing we're gonna do, and the most important thing in regards to being non-needy, is we're going to build up your self-esteem. Yes, I know it's a lot easier said than done. The reason for us is a lot of people are needy because they don't love themselves. They don't think they're worth anything. They think the other person they're with is more important than them. They put them up on a pedestal and that they are lucky to be with that person. Absolute crap. We're gonna build up your self-esteem, make you realize that we are all equals. There is no one higher or lower in any of this. Self-esteem allows you to validate yourself and suddenly you are no longer looking for validation anywhere else. You, just you alone, are all that you need. And one of the best ways to build self-esteem is to keep promises to yourself. Be truthful to yourself. How many times do we say, oh, I'll go to the gym today and then we never go? Or, oh, I'm gonna start my diet next week and it never happens. We're basically lying to ourselves and then we have no trust in ourselves. So we're searching for it in other places. When you have trust and love in yourself, then you can trust and love others. No longer spamming texts, see where they are because you don't trust them. Babe, where are you? Why haven't you responded? Are you cheating on me? Yeah. The higher your self-love, the bigger benefit it is to everybody else. You're being less needy and then she is going to be happier. And now you build your self-esteem and your self-worth, you take yourself up here where you no longer require somebody else to fulfill your life, to make your life more interesting. It is already that way on its own. And when you meet somebody new, when you meet that cool girl, that attractive girl, she's only complimenting your life. She's not making it. So along with building up the self-esteem, we do actually have to make your life more interesting. When your life is more interesting, you're gonna be less needy with women because you're not gonna need them so much because you're preoccupied with whatever is happening in your life. Have your own interests and have your own passions. Work out what you like and follow it. Whether you wanna make it a full on passion and career out of it, or whether it's just an interest or a hobby, but follow these things. Embrace them, make them part of your life. This way you're not relying on others to make your life interesting. When you're single, it means you have something that can distract you and stop you from being so needy. It gives you a purpose, it makes you more interesting. And to women, a purpose is incredibly sexy. And it's important to have your own interests and hobbies and passions when you're in a relationship, because then you're not just relying on that person constantly to fulfill your enjoyment. If that person's not around or you can't see them for a week or two, it's fine, you've got your own to do. My passion is this, helping you guys. I absolutely love it. My girlfriend is very grateful for my passion. She appreciates that I've got this to work on instead of bothering her all day. And that leads me on to my next point, be less available. Stop always messaging them. Stop always texting them. If you feel like you're the one who's always chasing, then you probably are and you need to pull back. Especially if you've just started dating this girl. She shouldn't be a priority yet. You shouldn't be having her up on a pedestal yet. Your life, your work, your passions should come first. Socializing with your other friends. You haven't been dating this person for years. She's just a girl you've just started dating. So pull back. And I don't mean like screen her texts or calls and pretend like you're busy. I mean actually be busy. Find other things to do other than her. When a girl thinks that she is your only priority. 
she becomes very uninterested. If it's a brand new girl, you've just got her number as well. If she texts and you're in the gym, if she calls and you're at work, don't pick it up straight away. Don't text back straight away. You have other priorities. If it sounds like I'm being too harsh, it's only because I've been there myself. I have been this needy guy before and it gets you nowhere. My next point is to stop worrying. You need to stop worrying so much about other people, about other people's actions, about other people's thoughts and feelings towards you. We cannot control how other people view us and we cannot control how people act. If you're worried that the person you're with might be seeing somebody else, might be cheating on you, so you have to constantly text and be needy, where are you babe, what's going on? Well, first of all, question whether you should be with this person in the first place. If you genuinely don't trust them and they are definitely cheating on you, then you shouldn't be with them, get rid of them now. But if you think they are because you've had past experiences where your past girlfriend cheated on you, then we need to let it go. Can't control other people's actions. Can't control what other people will do. If they cheat, they cheat. If they don't, then great. We do not worry about the things we cannot control. So stop worrying and stop over texting and calling them because you're worried that they might do something. Another reason guys can become quite needy is we over fantasize about the person we've just met. We start imagining all these amazing scenarios, potentially even marrying this girl one day, when we've only just met them. This person hasn't shown you any reason why you should even be thinking along those lines. You're putting her up there at that pedestal again. Stop making up scenarios in your head where she does amazing things for you. And you're making yourself like them more for something they haven't even done. You're imagining a whole relationship together and you have already just started dating. This means it's gonna end up hurting a lot more when you lose her. So you act more needy because you don't want to lose her. You think this is the best girl you've ever been with. Dude, there's another one. There's always another one. The other side to being needy is when you're approaching a girl, when you're speaking to a girl in public, somebody you've never met before and you just don't wanna come across as needy. A problem a lot of guys struggle with is trying to show interest without being too needy when you first meet somebody. So in this scenario, what I suggest you do is you have a balance of being positive, flirtatious, sexy, but also somebody who's a bit more unpredictable, maybe can be a little bit cheeky, a little bit mean, and has no issue with walking away. If you can convey all of that in your conversation or when you first meet somebody, then bravo to you. This is the perfect balance. Be flirtatious, wind her up, tease her, and then be completely nonchalant. Like, you're absolutely okay with walking away from the situation. I would even suggest not asking for the girl's number or asking to take her out on a date. Just have a flirty interaction. Leave her wanting more, more of you. Obviously this only works if the interaction goes well, but then on the second time around, she will want that date. She will want to give you her number. She had an amazing interaction with you, it was really funny, flirty, and a little bit mysterious, and then you walked away. You were unpredictable. And girls love it when you can be spontaneous and unpredictable. You're conveying interest without coming across as needy. Guys, I really enjoyed this one. Hit subscribe if you did too, and I'll see you in the next one.